I was 16 and you were 10, Ten years old, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at so, the time. Meet Gary and Marcy Graybow. My parents didn't think too highly of mm -hmm. rock and roll. The Graybows reminiscing about the Woodstock Music Festival held in Bethel, New York. It's a well-known festival that may soon be coming to Meriwether Post Pavilion in Columbia. We're excited to be able to have a conversation with the promoters of Woodstock, with Meriwether, about the opportunity of celebrating Woodstock 50. 50 years since its inception. Earlier this year, Woodstock organizers could not secure a new location. When the Woodstock promoter signs the ax and they work things out with Meriwether, we will be the venue to help ensure that things are successful. When I heard the announcement this afternoon, I thought, well, we're totally going until I heard the dates. Yep. And it happens to be the only weekend that we're away. August 16th through August 18th. And it's not just a festival for the older generation to enjoy. And we're known for the politics, and unfortunately we're known for like the drug problem in Baltimore. So I think it's about time to bring something good to the area. Tyler Bates learned from her grandmother that Woodstock was about peace and music. It was a freeing time. Like I guess nobody cared about what was going on. So that was, a, I guess, a place to escape, and music just was, I guess, the media to do that. Yeah, our crowd, you know, used to be all those things associated with Woodstock. Now it's oxygen tents and other things that, uh, you know, where do you park, you know, it was where do you park your VW bus, now it's where do you put your walker and your wheelchair. And you have so many people just excited about, you know, Woodstock 50, of course, being closer here right in Columbia, Maryland. Uh, again, you know, it's slated to begin August 16th. And, you know, Calvin Ball and the people we spoke to today, again, they are hopeful that in three weeks this festival will be right here in Columbia, Maryland. Reporting live tonight, Karen Campbell, WVAL-TV 11 News.